Hello viewers, this is Grandmaster Gopal. I am the 16th Grandmaster of India and first Grandmaster of my state Kerala. I had been the member of the Indian men's team which won the bronze medal in Asian Games and the World Team Championship. I was a silver medalist in Asian Zonals. For more details, kindly visit my website which is gopalchess.com. This is my first video. Today, I will be discussing a very important theme in chess middle games, that is the exchange sacrifice. Exchange sacrifice, in pure chess terms, is a trade-off between a rook and a minor piece. The side which resorts to an exchange sacrifice may have the following objectives. First and foremost is to weaken the opponent's king's position. The second and a common motive is to seize more squares. The third important objective for sacrificing an exchange is to shatter the opponent's pawn structure. Exchange sacrifice is typical to certain opening systems as well. For example, rook c3 is a common exchange sacrifice in Sicilian defense. Let's look at an example. The following game was played between Sergei Mofsisin and Gary Kasparov. Let's check the game. Sicilian defense. Knight off. E6 system of the English attack. These are pretty much standard moves. And bishop d3 is a slight inaccuracy. Rook c3 which is very typical in this position. So let's take a look at the position. So Caspro uh, plays queen c7 after rook takes c3, bc3. And then slowly develops his pieces. So now uh, black has castled. And uh, there isn't anything concrete for black at this point, but black prepares to launch an attack by means of knight a4, knight e5, rook c8, etc. So black has long term strategic trumps, whereas white, though up in material, is deprived of any active counterplay. White goes h4, the idea is to play h5, sorry, the idea is to play h5 followed by g6 in order to create some counterplay. Black goes to knight a4 which is very typical. So here Mofsisin played bishop c1 which is uh, another inaccuracy. So but uh, black is anyway much better. h5 was a better alternative after which black would play knight e5 and uh, h6 g6. White doesn't have any targets whereas black can slowly plan his uh, attack with rook c8, d5 and b4. So let's get back to the game. Bishop c1 was played by Mofsisian. Caspro goes to knight e5, a very active move. So now let's uh, take a look at the position. Black has uh, two active knights. A knight on a4 is close to white's king. And the knight on e5 is a very centralized uh, positioned piece. And uh, queen on c7 is ideally placed. And black intends to play rook c8 in the next move. Uh, on the other hand, white's king is quite weak. And uh, none of the white's pieces is taking place in the game. And uh, white doesn't have any active counterplay. So white goes h5 because uh, there is nothing much white can do. So black goes d5, the typical break. d5 is a typical break in most of the Sicilian, uh, most of the opening variations of the Sicilian defense. And in knight of d5 is very typical. So after d5, black's bishop on e7 is opened. And black has more ideas with b4 as well. White goes queen h2. White's 
idea to play h6 would also serve no purpose because after g6 white doesn't have any target so white goes queen h2 Caspro responds with bishop d6 and threatens knight takes d3 so Moxison goes queen h3 knight d3 cd3 and b4 this is a very important pawn break and to open more files as well as to bring more pieces into action for example after b4 c takes b4 which uh, happened in the game rook c8 gains its strength now the rook is in an open file black threatens queen c2 white responds with king a1 d4 fe4 bishop e4 and here d e4 isn't sorry d4 isn't possible because of bishop e5 and after knight d4 instead of white goes king b1 black goes queen c2 and it's mate so after knight d4 bishop d4 rook d4 queen c1 rook c1 rook c1 it's mate so d4 isn't playable and uh, mosisin goes g6 so after g6 Kasparov to pawn h1 queen h1 bishop takes b4 g f7 queen f7 would also be sufficient for a win Kasparov plays king f8 which is even better queen g2 rook b8 threatens bishop c3 bishop b2 knight b2 knight d4 knight d1 knight d6 king f7 and Mofsisin resigned this is a very instructive game and I think one of the most important games in the theme of rook takes c3 in Sicilian defense so I think every chess player has to uh, know this game of because of its importance I hope you enjoyed the video